What is this? Hey, what's up? I'm out going to go dig with some buddies, so uh, it's kind of early in the morning, so I'm going to go out, see what we can find, and you guys stay tuned. Alright guys, this button is one of my first digs at this site. Nice decorative flat button, flowery button. Alright, pretty cool. Well guys, I found this earlier today. I just didn't record it. Pretty cool looking cap gun. <laughs> it's uh, not too big. I, I believe I, I broke the uh, barrel off when I dug it. Anyway, that's a cool looking cap gun. Alright, continue on digging. Look at that, guys. A lovely square nail. Square nail? Yeah. Yeah, just a flat piece of iron. Ah, oh, piece of brass. Oh, it's big. <laughs> Hey, right, my buddy oh. said he's got a screamer here. He said it might be kind of big. <laughs> uh, shotgun shell. Ah, a 22 bullet. I mean, casing. Oh boy. Shotgun shell. Ah, uh, that's a buckshot ball. All right. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Shotgun shell. That's in the plug. I see it. Modern shotgun shell. <laughs> They'll link together. Alright. Looks like my buddy here just dug up. Looks like it might be cufflinks. Yep. He's just now cleaning them off. So like you might have some kind of design on them, huh? It does. It's got a little floral design. Sweet, man. Yeah. Nice. All right, a pair of cufflinks. All right, guys. I got a screamer. <laughs> oh. And it's root bound. I mean, it's got like one big root coming through it. Let's see. All right, let's see if I can. Uh... And I love the sand too. It's a musket ball. Looks like it might have been fired. All right, that's cool. All right. <laughs> oh man, this one is screaming. Oh my lord, it sounds really good. <laughs> Got. Okay, it might be just a flat piece of iron. I can't be my target. Okay, there it is, whatever it is. <laughs> is that some kind of buckle? What do it, I have here? What is this? Man, this thing's screaming. Let me get my brush out. Clean it for you guys right here, if I can find it. Kind of weird. I don't know. Well, anyway, there you go. <laughs> I dropped it. My brother fingers, gloves. It's like 
ask him. Don't know. Interesting. All right. Well, fellas, this is a diggable target. Let's see what we got. Oh, sound like it's still in the hole. Good thing. All right, sound like it's deeper now. Look at that, square buckle. An iron square buckle, looks like. Huh. All right guys, I have a screamer. Let's see what we got here. And this is my first dig of the day. Seems like it's still in the hole. <laughs> All right, going in. Oh. What is this? Huh, piece of brass. Not sure. Oh well, something or another. A rusty nail. That's a piece of lead. What you find? Got a nice uh, tomback flat button here with an iron shank. Oh yeah, it's interesting. You said you found this laying on the surface? Right on the surface. Sweet. Pretty cool. All right. That's my buddy Ike. <laughs> How you doing? All right, my buddy Ike says he got a says he got a button here. There goes my headphones. Oh yeah, there might be something on that, bud. Uh, not, this looks like there could be something on it. It's so encrusted. Let it dry and we'll stick it out and see what's on it. it. Oh yeah, it's got the nice shank. It's a little off-centered. But once he uh, clean it up, there might be something on it. Oh, here you go. Thank you. It's my other buddy joining me today, Metal Detecting SC. What's going on, fellas? Yeah, he just showed up. My other buddy, uh, Mike, he, I mean, Mike, Ike, he's somewhere. It's right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a flat iron. Yeah, just a, uh, so, a you gonna, old bean pot. Well, it, sometimes the way that lays in the ground, it'll it sounds, squeak like that. Yeah. It, it'll trick you every time. What well, was our first squeak? Or mine, anyway. <laughs> All right. Besides now. Oh, if you're finding lead, we're definitely in the right spot. Right. Uh, just a piece of lead, folks. All right, we're right here. And uh, it looks like Metal Detecting SC got something for his first time. He's yes, been and he's been wanting to find one for a while. He's cleaning it right now, but that right there is a three ringer Civil War. Is it? I can't tell. That may be a gardener, Let's man. That's not a gardener. No. A, a gardener would have yeah. like a uh, a weird base to it. But I want to say that's a three ringer, man. And it's fired too. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Awesome. Congrats, yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you soon. And there's the hole.
Yeah. Well guys, I finally got something I can dig. Sounds pretty good. It's been a while since I found something. Targets are getting harder to find here. All right. What is this? The heck? The heck is this? It looks like it's silver. All right, let me get back to you. Okay guys, it's time to do my wrap up. It's raining really good, so I'm under my lean-to shed. So forgive me for all the noise you hear. Anyway, Saturday, I went out digging with my buddy named uh, Ken. Did all right, and yesterday was Sunday, and I was out digging with uh, Metal Technici and Ike. So, uh, I didn't do a wrap up with those guys, but I got photos I want to show at the end of the video. But anyway, here's the stuff I dug up over the weekend. Alright, I start off with, there's trash, a bunch of iron and modern, a uh, bunch, yeah, a bunch of iron and modern shotgun shells and pull tabs and whatever. Alright, here's the stuff, the good stuff I found over the weekend. Uh, right here, this is what I dug up with uh, Ken. Uh, a fancy flat button and a fired musket ball. And yesterday, I found this piece. It looks like it's made out of silver. So that's pretty cool. And one little flat button, cuff size. And here's probably my find of the, the hunt. It's a bayonet scabbard tip. I was told it was used for the Union and Confederate. But I believe I found it at a Confederate campsite. So that's pretty cool. Alright guys, uh, folks, this is uh, my wrap-up. Hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching.